What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about the biggest change from 2K23 to 2K24 which is the change on RNG. Some of you guys probably know already that 2K taken away a lot of RNG to the game but I think not much people know to what extent did 2K do it or how 2K did it. Some players think that it only applies on the green or miss system on shooting but there's a lot more to it. So we'll talk about all those stuff in this video. By the way, after watching, Please let me know in the comment section what you think about these changes. Do you like the 2K reduced RNG or you were fine on how it was before? So let's get right into it. So before we start, just a quick disclaimer that I'm not a 2K dev and I don't have the codes for this game. All these following things that I'm going to say are just based on my own knowledge. I finished electronics and communications engineering in college, so I have a bit of knowledge in terms of basic logics on how programs work. So first, for those of you who don't know what RNG means, here's the Google definition. This is defined as a device or algorithm that comes up with numbers by random chance. In gaming terms, then RNG refers to events that are not the same every time you play. And to give you more perspective on this one, let's put it on 2K terms. Here's how it worked last year on 2K23 when there's still some RNG going on. I'll try not to be so, you know, technical in here. I'll try to make it as simple as possible so it's much easier to understand. Now, there could be lots of scenarios that RNG can be applied, like shooting or finishing. But let's take dribble blow by as an example. So the moment you body up an opponent and you try to blow by, there's a lot of calculations that are happening before the game decides if it will be a cutoff or a blow by. So basically, the moment you approach the defender, the game will calculate a lot of things, including each player's stats, badges, animations, positioning, stamina, and some other things, together with the gameplay sliders, difficulty, and lots of other stuff. Then based on all these things, the game will calculate all the probabilities. Like for example, let's say in this sequence, if you compare everything, overall, player A has the advantage. So let's say the game gave player A 75%, and player B 25% chance of winning these exact sequence. So even though player A has an advantage, player B still have a chance. So that's how RNG works. There will be some kind of randomness in everything. I'm not just saying this theoretically, I can give you an actual example. This one here is 2K23 and I tried it a lot of times and sometimes Jaw was able to blue by LeBron and sometimes LeBron was able to cut him off. That's because there was an RNG. Keep in mind though, yes there's randomness but it's still based on something. Some players hate RNG because they thought that it's totally random. It is not like that. It's not completely random like rolling a dice. Now, what about on 2K24? Let's find out after these messages. So before we go to the next part, just wanna invite you guys to like the video if liking so far. And if you're new here, I'm Chutes and I do lots of detailed badge and stat testings. First week I'm going to do stuff like, you know, speed, speed with ball, strength, acceleration, vert, and all the stuff you need to know on the first week before you finalize your build. And I'm doing this thing full time, so expect a lot of videos coming your way. Trust me, subscribing to this channel will be one of your best investment this year. Now going back, on 2K24, the RNG was reduced. It is really hard to say if 2K completely got rid of it because for me to say that, I have to test everything, but it's safe to say that it was reduced by a lot. So what's going to happen is, the game will still calculate all these stuff, but after the calculations, the results will be finalized. It's not going to undergo this stage. So in here, on this exact setup, if the calculations say it's going to be a cutoff by LeBron, then it's going to be a cutoff by LeBron all the time. The other side won't have a chance, unless I change their stats. In here you can see, I can just play the clips continuously, and you will notice it's always a cutoff. But the moment I reduce LeBron perimeter defense stat, now it's going to be the other way around. Ja will have a blow by and it's going to be all the time. So that's how it looks like without the RNG. That's your 2K24. So again, please let me know in the comment section which one do you like more. The ones with RNG like last year or how it is right now without the RNG and try to explain why. I'll try to pin the comment with most likes or if I really liked something. So that's all for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.